Fuck you, Pete. That's a phrase that's been heard up and down the Chronicle community a lot recently, and yet again, another pirate is bearing the brunt of players' frustrations. But does Scarface Pete need a change from his current form, like Redbeard Frank definitely did, or is he in fact good for the game? First of all, like Reflect last time, Pete has been in its current form ever since the game was available to us players in the closed beta, so the potential of this card has always been there. It's just taken a while for many people to really appreciate his power. In a game where combos are key to a deck's strength, discarding your opponent's cards is a highly underestimated power. Think about how many times you have yourself thought again about, or not even played, a KGP agent because of the risk of discarding one of your key endgame cards. Speaking for myself, I regularly hold on to my KGPs if there's another way to get off my feet. When you realise that potentially discarding one card is so strong, the effect of discarding three cards from your opponent has the potential to completely cripple them. The way many decks are built currently, it's about getting off your feet quickly and into the mid and end game as fast as possible. If you look at the standard AP Raptor list that's very popular, over half the deck is full of creatures with at least 5 health. If you can get a Pete off early against this, it can slow down or even completely stall your opponent. Is the effect too strong? Now it might surprise you, but no I don't think it is. When you draw 3 cards at the start of each chapter, and that cannot be prevented, a good deck should be able to cope with losing cards. The majority of the best consistent decks we've seen over the history of the game have had tons of card drawing them. Darkstrike Raptor from the closed beta with Wolf ran double White Wolf, double Crassian. The original Merrick Larian from Interjection in the closed beta, double Mind Bomb, double Peon, double White Wolf. Hope Zan, which has only just gone out since the nerfs, double White Wolf, double Crassian Rolo. Grief Linzer, double Crafter, one White Wolf. The 1 AP Miracle Ariane that's uh, on the ladder currently, double Mind Bomb, double Burnt Meat, and potentially two Restore Potions. And then Honest Raptor, which you'll be able to see in the background, is running double White Wolf, double Crassian, and a Rolo. Now, Agro and Escalade is probably the one that breaks the mold, only running two Crassians, but that's more down to the fact that it contains a lot of cards that need changing, and Jagex have acknowledged this. Other decks may have been able to beat the decks I've mentioned, but if you played the matchup repeatedly, you'd find that these would win most of the time. What I'm trying to say is, decks with more card draw are both more able to consistently draw out their win conditions, and also recover from having cards discarded. Card draw is crucial. Remember, peak contains no rewards for the person playing him. It represents a slot where the deck he's in has paused for a moment. For cards to exist that don't contain any beneficial reward for the person playing them, they need to have a strong detrimental effect for the opponent. I think Pete hits that balance pretty well currently. Now the real question is why is it taking so long for Scarface Pete to show up as a popular choice in the meta? I think it's just a case of natural evolution of the game, due to the fact that Miracle Ariane is so powerful, and it has a winning record against the majority of other decks. People were looking for a counter, and found Pete. The only reason Pete wasn't used previously was because there are even stronger cards out there, which have now been rightfully nerfed. They didn't necessarily do a similar job, but they offered more to the deck as a whole. So to conclude, I do think Pete is good for the game, as it currently punishes less consistent decks. Well-built decks can recover from this card. I can potentially see his attack being increased to make him more punishing early on, but I wouldn't touch his health for fear of buffing cards like Worthy Opponent. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please drop me a like and a comment below. Let me know what you really think about Pete, if you think it's good for the game or not, and I'll also leave some suggestions of what you want to see next. Um, I'm hoping to make this a weekly series, so, yeah. I'll see you next time.